welcome back to Belmont Bunch. Today we're, I just got back from the game and uh, the Isles lost again. And they've scored eight goals at the four games I've been to, I believe. That's good. That's good. Very solid two goals a game. So the Isles uh, were in sleepy mode for 50 something minutes of the game. Um, Varimov got beaten pretty cleanly twice. Um, and I don't know. It's just another loss to a team in a playoff spot. So that's like two eleven and three. So I think for a lot of the people, um, that still had hope, this probably is starting to snuff it out, seeing them consistently lose, uh, to, to decent teams. Um, tonight, the first, you know, 15 minutes of the first period, three shots. I mean, they ended up with three shots, but, uh, they had three shots. It, it didn't feel like they were playing terribly, but they just... As usual, even when they're playing all right, they're not getting pucks to the net. It felt like Adam Pellick was one of the only people getting pucks to the net tonight. Uh, I did get his all-star shirt tonight, so that was kind of cool. Uh, one of the highlights of the night, among one other. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Byfield beats Varley from good ways out. It's a great shot. Um, and another guy to get his first goal against the Islanders. Very charitable team, the Islanders, uh, in that regard. And uh, I just, I need a little bit more from Varley there. Um, we're in this weird cycle right now where the Islanders don't score enough. They get, If the goalie gives up one bad goal, first of all, the Islanders need perfect goaltending with the amount of goals we're scoring on offense. And second of all, it, we keep, we've keep we seen a couple of bad goals given up recently, and it's like, all right, we are definitely not good enough to give up goals on plays where we shouldn't because the Islanders are not scoring, not creating a lot of chances. Uh, in the third period, they started creating some chances, but really, not a lot going. And that first, especially the first period, obviously, by the shot total. But Byfield gets one. It's one nothing after one. And the second period, at least the Islanders do a better job of getting stuff than that. Um, but still, you know, it's it's they're they're winning some puck battles along the boards, but they're very very slow. So even when they win those puck battles, it doesn't feel like they transition into anything. And if they do, it's one guy by himself. The rest of the guys are changing and he just has to dump it in. And it's, you know, just one fewer possession and the Islanders, you know, don't get a lot of offensive zone time. Uh, in the first period they didn't, uh, and through a little bit of the second, it was similar. Uh, Islanders had a power play, um, on a play where LA scored, but interference or tripping was called. Uh, the one of the few highlights, Wes McCauley, uh, getting to see him in person make his very, uh, you know, famous calls at this point. And uh, that saved us momentarily, but the Islanders did nothing with that power play. Uh, LA would get a power play as well um, towards the end of the period, I think it was. And the Islanders killed that fairly well. So the PK has been decent recently. Really funny moment was uh, Scott Mayfield, um, as part of the kill, broke his stick. And uh, the only player around to give him his stick was Pajot. So as Scott Mayfield and, and JG Pajot, there's a bit of a height difference there. Um, and so it just, it looked like a tiny stick. And it was really funny. And that's all I got on that. Uh, but the Islanders did kill that one. Uh, late in the second very again you know it's still a very boring game i at this point had seen what five straight periods without a goal because i went to the capitals game i gotta stop going to games because the islanders are terrible when i go this year used to be good when i went um but athens cu just a rip from the corner and it's funny because uh my brother and i were both uh, apparently thinking the same thing because i told him hey you know i was thinking right as that guy came in uh if this goes in the game's over and um Athens see you from an awful angle uh, gives one up or Varley gives one up from Athens see you at a bad angle and uh, from there you know it felt pretty lifeless after that they got booed off the ice um, third period a, a, a decent push but it took too long to really get the pressure turned up basically until they pulled the goalie to really get, although I'll be fair there were a couple chances a great a chance with a great pass from Dobson to uh, Pajot. Pajot just can't get the puck elevated enough. Uh, Peterson makes a great save. And uh, something similar with Sezikis in the corner, throws one to the front, and Cal Clutterbuck just can't get the puck lifted enough. Uh, it gets stopped in tight. And, uh, you know, they needed one of those to go, really, to get the energy going with enough time left. Uh, as it, you know, happened, the Isles pull the goalie, get a Barzal goal from a similar angle to Athanasiu's shot, 
uh, some good traffic in front with Andrews Lee. Um, so that was nice. And then Adrian Kempe with the Islanders really having a tough time settling the puck down, uh, throws one into the empty net. Got a good view of that because I was on the end where the Islanders were shooting twice. And um, my brother and I and about 90% of the rest of the crowd got up to leave at that point. Pretty rare for me, you know, to leave even 20 seconds early. But uh, what, tw five seconds later, uh, we're going towards the escalator and we hear, a, you know, a, a cheer from the remaining fans and the goal horn go off, and I'm like, really? Uh, and it's funny, uh, you know, the fourth line connects. Uh, Clutterbuck with a good pass to Martin, who has an excellent, excellent pass to Sezikis. And I don't know how Sezikis managed to settle that puck down enough to get it on net, but he scores. It's 3-2, 19 seconds left. We stay to watch it on the screen, at least, and the, the Isles couldn't get anything else towards the net. Um, so it's, another, like I said, another loss to uh, a playoff-caliber team. Uh, I thought this was a better test for the Islanders because based on points percentage, LA wasn't very far ahead of us. Uh, so the Islanders back down the NHL 500 on a night where uh, I think Pittsburgh got a point and uh, the Rangers lost, but Columbus won and we're chasing Columbus. You know, it, the scoreboard watching really, it doesn't matter. If the Islanders don't win their games, there's no point of even watching the scoreboard. So uh, for the Islanders... Uh, I don't know. They need a shakeup somehow. Paul Mary came back tonight, and uh, he won a few puck battles early in the game, but I didn't notice him too much. Um, of the forwards, I would say the two best tonight were Barzi and uh, maybe Clutterbuck. Clutterbuck is, uh, you know, still out there as a human wrecking ball, lots of hits, uh, getting a occasional chances, and uh, that's about it. You know. Um, Robin Solo in the second period at one point had a really good step up. Uh, he hit the crossbar. I should mention there was a two-on-one earlier where uh, in the first period where Pellick hit the crossbar. So, you know, maybe I'm being a little bit hard and they definitely had opportunities uh, that just didn't go. So, you know, it's just difficult. It's difficult to see them constantly not cash in on the few chances that they create and then score late enough that I still get stuck in traffic. So, that's it for me at Belmont Bunch. Oh, I should mention, uh, to the fan that recognized me tonight, that was very cool. Um, I, I, sorry, I didn't know that you were acknowledging me because he, uh, the fan said, uh, I love your work. And I was like, uh, I thought it was my Gillies jersey. And uh, then it's like, oh, no, you're YouTube. And like, you're right about Chara. And I'm like, you're damn right I'm right about Chara. But like, everyone's right about Chara. So I can't take too much credit there. But yep, uh, that was cool. So hi to you. And uh, that's it. See you next time for Belmont Bunch. I didn't get taller. I'm just wearing my shoes still. Bye.